Good morning, friends. Mm. Today is going to be a great day. I'm claiming it now. I'm calling it in, and we're gonna have a great weekend. Hi, hello. If you are new here, my name is Callie Kleinschmidt, and I'm so excited to have you here. Make sure to subscribe. I have a new vlog up almost every weekend, and then I have a podcast that I come out with usually on Wednesdays, and then I also have some other fun videos that I upload on Wednesdays as well, so make sure to subscribe. It's a fun time over here. We are a spiritual sisterhood community, so I would love for you to join. Okay, friends, I have had a great morning so far. It's Saturday, uh... June, I almost said January. Definitely not January. Saturday, June 17th, and it's 11.20. This morning I got up, I made my breakfast, I meditated, did a little journaling, and then I went and walked on the treadmill for two miles, and then I just worked out and just showered and made myself a matcha. I do have some zit stickers on in case... Oh yeah, let's do a skin update. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I'm doing some uh, dermatologist... Ooh, focus... I've been working with a dermatologist to help with my skin, and I'll tell you guys what I'm on now because I've been doing it for a month. So, to treat my acne, I am orally taking spirulonolactin and amoxicillin, which is an antibiotic, and the goal is to not is to only be on the amoxicillin for three months and then go off of it because we all know what the pro or antibiotics do. And then topically, I'm on a clindamycin, like cotton swabs that you rub all over your face and then I'm using tretinoin as well and then she also prescribed me some stuff for my keratosis players but and truthfully I haven't used it yet but this is what my skin is looking like and I did just get out of the shower and do my skincare so it's a little bit red because of that and honestly I'm really happy with it so far I have seen progress let's get over here and focus which I am very, very, very thankful for because my skin has always been my biggest insecurity. I've been dealing with acne since I was in eighth grade and I'm 25 now, so it's been a long journey, but it is what it is. So we're working through it. Anyways, yesterday was Frankie and I's three year anniversary, which is crazy to me. We've been dating for three years, so happy us. We took the afternoon to ourselves. We went to the Dallas Botanical Gardens, which is beautiful, by the way. Such a great excursion. It's like you could do it in an hour or two, um, but it was so hot and so humid yesterday. Like by the end of it, we were both just dripping in sweat, like our clothes. It literally looked like we had almost just gotten out of a swimming pool. That's how hot and humid it was. But, you know, it was so fun. And then we went to Pisana, which if you are familiar with, like, Sprinkles, the cupcake ATM machines, um, the owner of that franchise opened up a pizza place, too, with a, a, a chef, like a pizza chef. And they use, like, organic fermented sourdough as their crust. And then, like, they have really high-quality ingredients. So your girl last night had a real pizza cheese and all and if you know me i don't do dairy and usually i don't do gluten so it was a fun night and i am reaping that on my face but you know what it was worth it the pizza was so good i was feeling alive and it was worth everybody it was so good i just got a regular margarita pizza mm, delicious and then frankie got the pepperoni and he really enjoyed that it was so cute it's in the knox henderson district of dallas if you're in the area really recommend you do need a reservation because it's a small small little restaurant but so good but anyways on the agenda today i need to clean and by clean i mean deep clean i'll turn you guys around and show you what it looks like here in a second but other than that as long as i clean i will feel good because i we're going to minnesota on tuesday so in three days because i'll share with you guys here i sold my house and i need to go clean it out and pack it all up and all everything so we're gonna head over there and do all of that and yeah so deep cleaning is in order today and if i get that done i will feel amazing so let me show you guys what i am currently working with and truthfully like my our apartment is very small i think it's like around 700 square feet which okay that isn't that small but you know compared to a house it is so it doesn't take me too long to clean but it will take me like at least two-ish hours to deep clean it um, 
and for that I'm thankful that we live in a smaller space because that helps with just like time management so let me turn you around and show you what we're working with here okay so Lily says hi so we just got like stuff everywhere and granted it is a, like I was just saying it's, there's not a lot of places to put things we don't have a lot of storage well we do but it could be better so just things out and about messy I'll show you our bathroom. Wait, no, I'm not going to show you our bathroom because it is horrendous. So yeah, let's do some deep cleaning. Also, I curled my hair yesterday and it, it held up a little nice from the humidity. It helps when you <laughs> wear it in a claw clip too. Helps hold the curl, but yeah, that's what we're working with. All right, I'm gonna start cleaning, but I know, I think this is okay to put you guys here. Anyways, this is, did I tell you guys about this? I went to the dermatologist and she recommended that to help with my acne scars to potentially do a chemical peel or this skin pen thing in the fall so i have this brochure honestly i haven't read anything about it but i'm gonna put it in my mail cabinet or drawer i guess you should say and yeah let's get cleaning also i wear this amazon set all the time and it was i think less than 30 dollars and it's this really pretty ribbed material and it comes in a bunch of colors i honestly want to get another set because it's very comfy like very very comfy and i don't know i feel cute wearing it i love a matching set moment but anyways so here's what i'm gonna do to clean i need to wipe down the counters wipe down the cabinets and just tidy up get rid of some stuff on the counters here and then fluff the couch fold the towel or fold the blankets dust i did order some swiffer dusters off of amazon but they haven't came yet they're supposed to arrive sometime today but i'll probably dust before then no <gasps> No, I thought I maybe had one more, but it's gone, dang it. And then clean the bathroom, like head to toe. I did order a new shower curtain, so I need to get that up and then wash our shower curtain. I also need to wash our cowhide rug, it's fake and it can go in the wash. And yeah, honestly, just everything. I need to do everything. I don't know if I can do a time lapse on here. This is my first time doing like a really cleaning video. So you guys will learn with me, I guess, but Anyway, I feel like I just have so much to catch you guys up on, too. I don't know. There's just so much. Okay, let's get cleaning. Break from cleaning. Oops, hold on, gotta get you guys situated. 
and I was having some macadamia nuts as a snack. Okay, no, I thought you guys were gonna fall. And anyways, I wanted to show you what I've been doing with my element drink because I've been very into sparkling water. I love sparkling water so much. So this is just the Whole Foods brand. Yeah, Italian sparkling water. I put some in a cup and then I put my element directly into it. And it does fit, so you don't want to fill it up like hardly at all with the water. Put that in there. I'm gonna grab the straw and then I twirl it. Mix it all in and then top it off. And I learned about this from Ariel Laurie, the Blonde Files podcast. She has a really, I love following her TikTok and like her Instagram and whatnot. And she recommended this and I tried it and you guys, it's honestly so good. It's my new favorite way to consume Element. Like honestly, I just love Element in general. Even Frankie loves it. That's when you know. You know, you know. And yeah, it's just so good. Anyways, I'm almost done cleaning. The last thing I need to do is scrub the toilet. Fun. Vacuum and clean the bedroom. And then we are golden. And yeah, it's about one o'clock right now. So I'll probably have lunch in a bit. But it's been nice to just mindlessly clean and not have to think about much and just allow myself to be present and in the moment and just get her done it feels so good but yeah happy saturday a cozy little update it is 3:43, and i was just hanging out with fox and frankie before frankie left for the day to go work and i was sitting down and reading my book i think i talked about this maybe i'm reading the becoming supernatural by dr joe dispenza and it is just really really good i had to stop oh my zit hurt i had to stop cleaning for a bit because the vacuum died so that should be charged now so i'll probably get up here and finish that and then i have to move the stuff over from the washer to the dryer but otherwise we're just having ourselves a grand old day just chilling out nothing crazy it's been cozy it's been fun and i'm very thankful for it it feels so good to have the apartment cleaned. I was gonna do the laundry, but then it was still sopping wet, so I did a drain and spin, and now I just put it in the dryer. And I am drying our cowhide out on the balcony, but I vacuumed and dusted, or not dusted, mopped. And now I'm all done, and then I'm just waiting for the laundry to be done, and then I can put that away, and I am golden. It feels so good. I probably do a deep clean in our apartment at least once a month, I think, just because we got a lot going on in here. There's a big crew and a small space. And anyways, now I'm just drinking a bloom and I think I'm gonna sit outside and journal. It's 4.24 right now. And yeah, I've gotten basically everything done off of my to-do list today. I worked out, I cleaned, I meditated. I'm doing all the things. And yeah, I also wanna film a video for slash podcast for this week too. And I'm not sure what I want to do it on yet, but inspiration will strike. I know it. So I'm going to go sit out on the balcony and journal and hang out for a little bit. Definitely need to take the sweatshirt off because it's hot out, but it's all good. We love it. But anyways, I'll show you a little overview of the clean apartment now because it looks great. Well, it's still a little all over the place because the rug is out there drying. So that will go there and then we'll put the coffee table back. But the coffee table was clean, got everything dusted. The couch was nice and cute, but we were snuggling on it, so that's that. Foxy, clean countertop, stuff still out. I know, I know, but progress. And, okay, the fan's on. I'm waiting, I was waiting for the floors to dry so I could come in and, you know, unplug it. But countertop is as clean as it can get. New shower curtain is hung, but I will hang the, sh or the shower liner is hung. And I'm washing the shower curtain. I'll get that going. I cleaned the toilet, sparkling. The closet is clean. We cleaned the bedroom, fresh carpet, fresh mid bed, cleaned the Peloton. We're looking good here. We're looking good. It might not be anything magical or spectacular, but it's, it's clean. So, cheers to that. It has just been the most wholesome day and I'm so happy about it. And okay, lighting is not in our favor, but you know what, it's almost 9 p.m. So we're working with what we got. But anyways, it's just been a really great day. Like I only have positive, happy thoughts from today. I got so much done. Well, honestly I didn't, but in a way it feels like I did because it was 
I did a lot of cleaning, I did laundry, worked out, read, journaled. It was just a great day. And Frankie and I started watching Queen Charlotte on Netflix and that's really good. We like that. We also finished New Amsterdam. Highly recommend that show. You know what? I medium recommend that show actually. It was good, but I don't know. And yeah, now Fox and I are just playing and having a chill night. I might watch the new episode of the Kardashians, but it's just been a wholesome day. I'll see you guys in the morning and my heart is so full from today. I need I needed this day. I needed it. It's a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful day. Happy Sunday, my friends. I'm just getting my shoes on to go work out. I'm gonna walk two miles on the treadmill and then I'll probably come home and do a form workout, which by the way, if I haven't, I think I've already shared this, but I have been loving the Sammy Clark workouts on her exercise. She's an app and then also a web browser too called Form. And I really have been enjoying them. Sorry, I'm tying my shoe. She has Pilates and like HIIT workouts and uh, stretches and just really good recipes too. And I've just been really enjoying it. And it's very fair priced. It's like $100 a year if you use her discount code YouTube20, I believe. And okay, sorry, there we go. Anyways, I really love it, but I'm wearing um, airy biker shorts, aloe, built-in sports bra tank top, Lululemon uh, jacket, then just like my Hoka's Bondi's 8, and then my hair is up in a pony. Nothing fancy going on over here, but yeah, let's go walk on the treadmill. And also, I wanted to give you guys some information. My friend Allie and I are hosting a workshop on Tuesday, June 27th on uh, manifestation in mind, or excuse me, manifestation, or well, m meditation, there we go, too many M words, meditation and yoga, and it's all about turning back into you, coming back to your true self, and how to deal with and work through really hard times, and just how to deal with the shit and having tools and resources while you move through those difficult times, which truthfully, if you know, you know, I've been there, I've been going through it. And Allie and I really wanted to speak openly about it and just have a conversation. And it's a full, con like we're inviting you guys to ask questions, participate, and it's gonna be a great time. It's from 6.30 to 7.30, it's free. And we would love to have you join. I'll put the link to join down in the description below. But yeah, Tuesday, June 27th from 6.30 to 7.30, all about meditation yoga well we're doing like a five ten minute meditation really and then like a 20 minute yoga flow and then we're also going over the lesson on how to just reconnect with yourself and how to build trust with yourself when you're moving through difficult times so we would love to have you join us and there's more info over on my instagram as well but yeah let me know if you have any questions all right with that said let's go to the gym also this is my favorite little pouch pouchy thing it's from lululemon i've had it for a few years now and i just love it it's like my everyday bag. Goes with everything. Oh, I love a good workout that leaves you feeling like jello. So I did two miles on the treadmill and then I did a 30 minute full body hit workout on form and I just rinsed off and now I'm ice rolling and I think I might go lay out by the pool for a little bit. And isn't it funny? <laughs> Summer is like the season of showering three times a day and just constantly being sweaty. But you know what? It is what it is. I love summer. Summer is my favorite, so I will take it. I will take it any any day over negative 30 degree Minnesota winters. Y'all, I'll be straight with you. I didn't last that long at the pool. I was maybe there for 40 minutes. It's just so hot out and I was just... Well, it was like uncomfortable because there was no breeze so didn't last long and I just rinsed off in the shower to get off all of the spray tan and now I'm drinking an element drink and I think I'm gonna sit down and do some personal development work I have been reading A Course in Miracles and going through that it's kind of like a one day a thing workbook and then I'm gonna do some journaling and yeah just have some me time that's been really really helpful that has been like my rock while i've been going through all of this and 
it's just it makes me feel so good so i'm gonna sit down and do a little bit of that it's noon now so i'll probably have lunch in like an hour ish yeah we're just having ourselves a great sunday it feels so so good i know i said this yesterday but i really am just so thankful to be feeling like myself again to just be feeling more happy and optimistic it's it's reminding me how much to not take that for granted here's the setup here's what i'm doing working through a manifestation babe journaling prompt journaling that then i might read a little bit later and then there's the course in miracles book that i was talking about Okay, I have to show this to you guys as well. So I just pulled these out of the oven and it is Brussels sprouts. I almost forgot the name with a little bit of salt, chili flakes, honey, or no, excuse me, maple syrup and Dijon mustard, but you could also use honey and I air fried them. Oh my goodness. I had them for dinner last night too and they were so good. So I, I used the rest of my Brussels sprouts that I had and cooked them up because I'm also trying to eat all my groceries in the fridge before I'm gone to Minnesota. So. I'm just eating that now and then watching a vlog. Love watching a vlog when I eat. And yeah, it's just just the best vibes. So I'm really in my drink era. Wow, my hair is just not vibing today. And I got, I'm, I've been trying to get into kombucha to help with my stomach while I'm on antibiotics. And my favorite kombucha brand is this Health Aid kombucha. And I wanted to try this one, this flavor. It's blood orange, carrot, and ginger. And it sounds really fun to me. I like all of those things. Um, so I wanted to try it with you. But yeah, I'm really just in my drink era. Like, obviously I drink water. But then every day I have like an element and then a bloom drink and then my matcha. And now I've been having kombucha. It's just, it's fun. Spice it up. Keep it exciting. So let's try this. Okay, it's not as orange as I thought. I thought it'd be very orange. Okay, let's see. Mm, I did like a little more or a little less than half of the bottle. That's what it looks like. Okay, it is orange. It doesn't pour orange, but it is orange. Okay, let's try it. Hmm. I mainly just taste the ginger. It's good though. I really like this. Okay, well that's good to know. Yummy, yummy. Then the other flavor I have in my fridge is ginger lemon. So I probably have like half a bottle each time. Oh, and then too, this morning I had a celery juice. So, really, in my drink era. Just having fun. Why not? I know I keep saying it, but friends, I'm just having such a great day, such a great weekend. And it just fills my heart up with so much joy. Fox and I, let's show Fox. I don't think you've seen him today yet. Or maybe you have. Say hello, handsome man. Oh, look at this sweet baby. We were just cozied up on the couch and I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers, Francesca. Hi, Francesca, if you're watching. And I need to switch the sheets over to the dryer now. I ended up taking out my hair and just let it down because the curls are still holding up. Like, I did this on Friday. This side, not so much, but this side, this side is giving. And I washed our sheets because every Sunday I wash our bed sheets. Um, yeah, honestly, we... Frankie just left to go to work too, so we were just chilling out on the couch, hanging out, just cozying up. We like to do that, to just have time together before he goes and works. And I, it's almost four o'clock in the afternoon now, so I'm like, okay, I gotta get up, I gotta keep doing my stuff, make myself feel good, and not just sitting and playing on my phone. Like as much as that feels good too, it's good to be, you know filling yourself up with the things that you want to do. So, let's get that going, perfect. Now I think I actually want to film a video for, and podcast for this week. I don't know what I'm gonna do it on yet, but inspiration is kind of striking. This is my swimsuit, by the way. I got it from Aerie like two, three, four years ago. I really love the color, and it's like kind of iridescent-y, shimmery, and it's high rise and rib. I love it. So much, but I need to get a new swimsuit because truthfully I only have two swimsuits and I need to spice it up. I was telling Frankie today even a lot of the stuff that I have, I've had for so freaking long. Like the laundry basket we have and the shower mat we have. 
I have had since freshman year in college. So like 2017, 2018. So, and they, they need to be upgraded. Wow, I haven't had water in a very long time. Okay, so yeah. Let's, let's get going with this day. Let's think about what I wanna do here for my video. Okay, I just did a little mascara and then did some lips, lips liner and chapstick and then put on a necklace and earrings and jewelry. Not that it really matters and it's honestly so funny. Oh my gosh, I look so pale in this light. It's so funny how different you look and feel with no makeup on versus makeup because when I started to put mascara on, I was like, ooh, I actually think I preferred no mascara because I didn't put any foundation or blush on or anything else because I kind of wanted to keep it just like light and casual and I didn't really want to do a full face of makeup because it's already like four in the afternoon and I just, you know, don't want to waste the makeup. But anyways, I think I'm going to do my podcast out here. I haven't done it out in my living room in a while, so I think I'm going to set it up out here and I'll show you guys the setup. Oh, here too. We put back the rug after cleaning it. The rug, nice and clean. Coffee table, Mr. Fox, as cute as ever. Are you kidding me? Could you be any cuter? Oh, you are so precious. Oh, the tongue, look at his tongue. Oh, no, he licked it. All right, here's my little setup. I use GarageBand for my podcast. I have this microphone, it's called Blue, and this is my ring light just off of Amazon. Honestly, it's not the best quality. It is what it is though. And then my camera stand, which you guys were just on. And yeah, that was the setup. I just got done filming it. Now I'll probably edit it. And yeah. Oops, what did I just do? I don't know. It is 4.14 in the afternoon. I might have a little snack. I gotta start the dryer again because I had to turn it off when the podcast was recording because the sound. But yeah, that's what's up. Alrighty friends, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm making some breakfast for dinner. I'm making some pancakes and it has just been such a great weekend. This is the perfect end to a lovely, lovely weekend. And I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking with me through the hard times, through the good times and just cheering me on and being there for me. I want you to know that it never goes unnoticed. I appreciate every view, every comment, every thumbs up. I really appreciate you so much and thank you for being here and if you are new please subscribe and i'll see you guys next week love you guys bye a new place a new home